My husband often said that <clears throat> change is a constant, and we all recognize that. Some of us embrace it, some of us detest it, and some of us simply put up with it. But we all have to admit that there are a lot of changes in our world, and I guess it was most evident in the last couple of years in dealing with the pandemic. It affected each one of us in dramatic ways that we cannot possibly share with one another sometimes. So change is a constant, but change can be a good thing. And we need to acknowledge that it's necessary to move on. This past year has been notable for me too. Like Representative Pepper, I celebrated a 70th birthday. My husband and I celebrated a 50th wedding anniversary. And we celebrated having our daughter and grandchildren here for a short period of time before they moved back to Mexico. My life has changed a lot. And now we're facing another change. To talk about why I got into office or how I got into office kind of goes back to my husband. He had the seat before I did. And he did a great job. He was a hard worker, knocked a lot of doors. I probably didn't even come close to what he did and he put his heart and soul into it. And when it came time for the 2016 race, we had a great candidate, or so we thought, for the Republicans. He was a fine businessman in the community, and he had all the right stuff. However, during the course of his campaign, we found out that he had a little baggage too and uh, felony charges regarding Medicare fraud and Medicaid fraud. And, and at, at that point in time, we needed to find another Republican candidate kind of quickly. I made some suggestions. I knew some people. But uh, they weren't ready to step up to the plate. And finally, everybody pointed at me and said, you can do it. You're ready. And uh, it wasn't really what I thought I was going to be doing. I have a business. I have been a business owner for 35 years. I have a staff. I have obligations and clients. But I stepped up and ran. And I've not regretted it, not one time. You see, I had a choice this time. I did have a choice. I could have said no. But we don't always have choices in life. And there was a time when I had to accept um, a diagnosis of a terrible disease. And that kind of cut a couple years out of my life. I was fortunate, and God was good. And the fact that he brought me through it, and on the other side, was a sign to me that maybe there was something left that I needed to try. And this was exactly the change that I needed. It has been the honor of my life to serve with all of you here. I couldn't be more grateful to all the supporting staff, the clerical staff, all of our policy people, to the sergeants for keeping us safe every single day. And then I have to talk about my own staff. For you see, I have someone in my staff who has spent over 25 years here in Lansing, and she is also retiring. And this will be her last week as well. Robin Neert has given over 25 years of her life as a a legislative liaison to various senators and representatives here in the Michigan legislature. Ideally, she would be here today, but she's recovering from some foot surgery, and uh, so she's not allowed to be on her foot for very long. But I, I would be remiss if I did not thank her for all of the time and energy and support that she gave me and my husband before that. I also have Sandra McCormick, who is one of my newer people. She jumped right in and has done an outstanding job working with me. So I will be sad to say goodbye to her. I've had great staff people through the years and wonderful interns. And believe it or not, I even had interns that were not from MSU. I had a couple of great interns from Olivet College, and they really did an outstanding job for me. All gone on to big cities and big things. It's not the first time I've had people go on. Through the 35 years I've been a business owner, I have counseled a lot of my own employees. I 
rescued one of my employees from a domestic violence situation and got her housing when her family and her were attacked. I counseled people through cancer. Yes, I've lost three of my own employees through cancer. And because I had survived that, I was able to give them some counseling while they went through it themselves. Life is a journey, and I've been very fortunate. I'd like to acknowledge my godson, who is up in the balcony. Um, David has uh, been in my life since before he was born. <laughs> he followed his older sister, and he has a younger brother, and they're all my godchildren. My own family um, is very well employed and taking care. I have, I'm very proud of my daughter, Miranda, who is a supervisor with the UPS corporate office in Grand Rapids, where they are dealing with an amazing amount of packaging this time of year. For the last few years since she's a supervisor, she never gets out until Christmas Day from now until then. Just a, just a thought that we, a lot of those working people make the rest of our lives beneficial. My older daughter has been an employee of an international company, and that's allowed her to live in another country. So my husband and I have been very blessed. I am grateful to have represented the folks in my 103rd district. I had five counties. And I had to drive around the two biggest inland lakes, Houghton Lake and Higgins Lake, to get to the other side of my district. My district is probably much different from most of yours. I have a lot of dairy farmers, a lot of Christmas tree farms, a lot of logging, and a whole lot of tourism in my area. They're hardworking people, and they are the very heart of Northern Michigan. As a proud member of the Northern Michigan Caucus, I think we should recognize the extra sacrifice that all of us give because we spend a whole lot more road time than anyone else. And so luckily for us, there's been a change in technology. And that technology has afforded us the ability to use Bluetooth now. Bluetooth, not talking on your phone, right, Steve? So we can actually do a lot of business while we're in our cars, and that does help. I can't imagine what it was like in prior years. Technology is a wonderful thing and a, and a change we should all welcome. I have to acknowledge that faith is a very important part of what we do here in Lansing. I could not do what I do without my faith in my Lord and Savior. And I could not do it without the prayers of so many people who are behind me, and I have to acknowledge that. I can't do it alone. And fortunately, fortunately, God puts people in our lives that help us along the way, and I've been very blessed with that. In the spreadsheet of life, the balance sheet of life, there's a few things that are noteworthy. The greatest joy in life is giving. The greatest loss in life is the loss of self-respect. The greatest problem to overcome is fear. The deadliest weapon is the tongue and gossip. The most prized possession you can have is integrity. And the most contagious spirit you can give is enthusiasm. I'd like to leave you with this. Life ends when you stop dreaming. Hope ends when you stop believing. Love ends when you stop caring. Always keep these values in mind, and no matter what you do, you will succeed, whether you're 27 or 70. Thank you.